Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special video. It is the part two to the video I made of getting Heart of the Mountain 6. And today we are going to be finally unlocking Heart of the Mountain Tier 7. As you can see, I'm only 888 more XP away from getting Heart of the Mountain 7. So I've been working on this for a couple of days now. And a few of you might be noticing that um, I've lost my sorrow armor on my leggings. As you can see, I now have um, suspicious golden leggings. Now let's take a look at what they are. So that's right, so I have finally unlocked my first piece of Divan's armor. So I wanted to kind of max out each piece and then buy an next one, rather than, you know, just get all and then not really unlock them. So I've recombed it, put jaded on it, and put the first gemstone, which is top house, and I've put a perfect gemstone on that. So, uh, so uh, throughout um, uh, the next few couple of months, I'm going to be trying saving up coins, replacing all of my star armor with jaded, getting them all maxed, and finally getting a very good mining setup. So with all that out of the way, what we are going to do is we are going to go straight into the Crystal Hallows and finally unlock Heart of the Mountain 7. So the strategies I've been using to get all my commissions fast is I've been uh, using waypoints to uh, locate me where all the kind of commissions are. So the best goblin spot, the best um, uh, gemstone spots to mine. So I've got to mine Topaz gemstone. So I've got my bow pet equipped, I think. Yes, I do. I've got my level 80 bow pet equipped and we are going to just be mining a big area until we finally find some topaz gemstones uh i'll come back once i found some topaz all right finally after about five minutes of hopeless mining we have finally uncovered our first batch of sorrow so we're going to use our mining speed boost and using our, our first piece of divan's arm we're going to be tearing through this topaz like it's nothing at all so we are already 40 percent of the way done and this is a massive vein luckily for us so uh hopefully we this will be the only vein we need but i think we might need a little bit more afterwards yeah we're looking close though we got uh we're 80 percent of the way there oh that's so annoying oh final crystal get okay, there so we have 87 percent of the way there and we just need to find one more vein so i'll come back once i've found that okay good we broke we broke out into uh, a tunnel where there is loads of topaz here so we're just going to mine our last few blocks of topaz 96 percent finally our final commission that i'm ever going to have to do to get hot mxp is going to be claimed in three two one there we have it, Heart of the Mountain 7! Woo! Oh my god, finally, we have finally got Heart of the Mountain 7. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now, let's see. Look at that. It does not give me Heart of the Mountain XP because I do not need it. I am finally there. Heart of the Mountain 7 let's go all right first thing we're gonna do is get out 100k from the bank which is denying me so we're just going to teleport over to this bank here we're going to take claim out 100k and we are going to create our heart of the mountain setup so right let's look at the tree so the first thing we're going to do is boom reset gotta wait three seconds Okay, right, good. We've reset it. And so, first thing we're going to do is obviously mining speed. Mining fortune we have to get as well. Hmm. I don't know. Do we claim it? No, I don't think so. <sighs> to go up to daily powder up to efficient miner because we want to get the really broken 
um, perks at the top here. So let's go across the Fortunate, Great Explorer, Fortune, Lonesome. How many have we got left? We've only got four left. Oh, two tokens left. So we got all of the Heart of the Mountain Sun perks. We haven't got any like special perks. So I think we're going to get Titanium, Insanium and Mining Speed Boost. So this is my hot time tree. Uh, now we're going to level up all of our perks. So let's get this one up to like level 20. <laughs> um because that way it's like good level okay get you up as well hmm. we don't want to get titanium insanium because i don't think i'll be mining a lot in daily powder i'll upgrade because i need more powder so we'll get this to level 10 or 15 let's get it 15. oh 20 it's so cheap still got so much left um get it to 25. so these all use gemstone powder you don't so we'll just quickly level you up how much oh we can upgrade a lot more of our perks all right let's let's get this to level 25 new as well all right good We've run out of um, mithril powder. Uh, we have a bit more, so we're just going to dump it all in daily powder. And so that's us done for mithril powder. And this, I'll just level this one up as well. All right, good. So we've got no mithril powder left, but we've got quite a lot of gemstone. So I want to be able to have 1,500 mining speed using my... Uh, jungle pickaxe so what we're going to do is level up mining speed 2 a bit to maybe level 11 see how far we are with that so if i go into my jungle pick we've got what Oh, I used my mining speed boost, that's why my mining speed was so high. Okay, let's check again. Okay, that's perfect. We got plenty of um, mining speed. We don't want to waste any more mithril pa uh, powder on that. Let's level up this a bit until it gets to level 10. Let's put the rest, get this one up to maybe level 10 as well, and then dump the rest into mole because it's just such a good park all right so i'm happy with our um so you just want to put quite a bit more uh mithril, uh gemstone powder into mole so we can get it as um high as we can maybe get a level 50 wow there we go and i think if we get a bit more powder because that'll help us massively in the long run let's invest a bit more to get this maybe level 20 mm, we're starting to run out okay that's level 20 we have 26k more i think we've got to put it oh this is so hard um i'll put some into great explorer for when i powder mine i think that is going to be our setup for mithril this is um our setup for the heart of mountain tree so we've got mining speed at level 25 and mining fortune at level 23 we've got titanium insanium but that's only to get mithril speed the uh, mining speed boost perk we, then we go straight up to level um, daily power, powder, efficient miner. Then we come up and we have all of these. So we've got Moller level 55, Fortunate maxed, Great Explorer at level 4, Mining Fortune 2 at level 20, Dip Powder Buff at level 19, Professional at level 14, Lonesome Miner at level 4, and finally Mining Speed 2 at level 12. So yeah, today's been an epic... Uh, 
video for me. I've progressed in the game. I've gotten my uh, first piece of Duran's armor, which I'm so excited about. And we have finally unlocked Heart of the Mountain 7. Uh, this means we can now start making a lot more money in the Crystal Hallows. We have a base mining speed of 1378 in our mining setup. With our uh, jungle pickaxe, we have 1,800. With our gemstone gauntlet, which is our mi main mining tool, we have it at 3,255. With the mining speed boost, that uh, number increases all the way up to 13,000 mining speed. And I just want to do a quick test on how fast that actually is to mine a uh, mithril. Oh, that is so fast. I swear I'm like insta mining this. Look at that. That's rapid. Oh yeah, so today's been an epic gaming video for me. Uh, I've progressed a lot in the game and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get Heart of the Mountain 7 and progressing in this game and getting my first ever piece of Devon's armour. So I'm so excited. Um, we're going to save up a lot of coins, try and get uh, more money to replace these boy by bad boys with uh, Devon's. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.